Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna go over my Caltech KSG, which is probably my most tricked out gun. I built this gun several years ago when I was working at a gun dealer in Texas. It kind of became my go-to weapon to um, trick out for the people who wanted to buy it. And I had a lot of fun with it. First of all, a couple of stats. It's a really, really lightweight gun. It's just under seven pounds, uh, 26 inches long. So it's bullpup, tactical, and it's light. It's like, I'm 5'3", fairly small girl. And this thing just, it feels fantastic. So anyways, I always recommend it for females or anybody, you know, it's fantastic for close quarters, like home defense type situation. That's what I keep it here for. And yeah, so let's like go ahead and rock into the mods. All right, I made some notes, but I don't know if I'll be able to read my own handwriting. So we'll see. Starting from the top, I've got Magpul pop-up sights. After that, I put on, this comes with a Picatinny rail straight out of the box, but I did a Picatinny rail that also has sides and side Picatinnies. I believe it's a Mesa. I have to double check and then I'll link it in the description below. After that, I just put on cool badges because I like them. This is the High Tech Breacher. Um, the more standard one that goes on this, uh, I put on a lot for a lot of people. It's called the Lalax. Um, muzzle brake, but I really like the breacher because it was just small. It kept it small, kept it compact. The high-tech breacher just looks so good with the bayonet spikes because screw your hand every single time you touch them. Ow. After that, I put a green dot laser. This laser is actually dead and I broke the charger, so I need to replace that, but there you have it. Put a skeleton foregrip on it. Foregrip on this gun, I feel like is a must. It used to have a swivel foregrip on this. Um, but I decided to go skeleton both with the foregrip and the trigger. My original skeleton trigger was black, but as soon as they came out with the gold, I swooped in and got that. I don't know if you can get in there or not, but I put in stainless steel followers. This came just with standard plastic followers, which you would have to put a, like thousands of rounds through, I would imagine, to break those or mess those up. But the stainless steel just looks so clean and I don't have to worry about it. Moving on, I put on an extended selector switch right here. And the extended selector switch just allows for you to swap between left and right tube without actually removing like your hand at all. You can just pop, pop if you can hear that. All right, next thing I did was put a limb saver on here. If you're shooting the three inch shells, that's probably more necessary. Um, with the Aguila mini shells, which is what I like to keep in it, it can hold 23 Aguila mini shells and the limb saver is almost not necessary. But if you do decide to put in the three inch shells, which I believe it can hold seven of, yeah, if you do decide to put in the three inch shells, this may become a little bit more necessary. But the Aguila mini shells, I really like. They've got um, a lot lower recoil, overall just kind of more forgiving on your shoulder. All right, last but not least, I put on the swivel sling. One thing I forgot to mention about the swivel sling that is actually a drawback is that it goes through this front pin. So the Keltec KSG has two pins, one in the front and one in the back, but you actually have to pop out to field strip this thing. And the swivel sling, in order to get the whole mounting system off, you actually have to have an Allen wrench. And so that kind of makes the ease of just like tearing the weapon apart um, a little bit more difficult. So I do like this sling because it's like bungee and comfortable, but the ease of getting on and off the weapon is like two out of 10. So just thought I'd throw that in there. So that basically concludes the upgrades that I've done to my Caltech KSG. I'd love to know what kind of upgrades you guys have done to y'all's, what um, other guns you'd like to see me run through um, or reviews. I can definitely take this out and do a field test with it. If that's something you guys want to see, let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for stopping by. Drop me a comment below. Let me know what you thought. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down, but let me know how I can fix or improve it. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. Thanks.